Hello, I'm Entrilisium. Now, a number of you probably wondering where KSP is on the channel, and to be honest, I wondered that myself a few times. So, I've got two series currently in KSP going on the channel. Uh, of course, the multiplayer series with Harv and with Chicken Keeper. And uh, I also have a Mod Light series. Now, the Mod Light series isn't exclusively KSP, but until now it has just been, you know, KSP mods. And I was all gearing up for a KSP series with uh, the new Point .24 edition. However... Point 24 started off being incredibly buggy. Um, it got two version patches, like to proper entire version patches to point uh, 24.2 now, which meant that it was delayed severely until maybe a couple of weeks ago when point 24.2 came out. Then of course all the mods had to get updated to work with point 24.2, and uh, now it's only just become you know stable enough that we can actually use the mods, and it's still. It's not 100%. I mean, I really would have wanted to use the 64-bit version, and the introduction of the 64-bit version, the latest patch of KSP, was uh, really what I was hoping for. I'd be like, yeah, there'd be no RAM crashes, etc. But as a lot of you probably tried it, have found out, it's incredibly schizophrenic. Sometimes it'll work uh, for some people, and for some people it just crashes all the time, and uh, for some, like me, you get the right click bug, where quite often, not all the time, and not 100%, you know, reliably, the right click doesn't work. So you can right click on a part and want to, you know, transfer fuel, or you want to deploy solar panels, or you want to turn a light on, or you want to get a Kerbal out or something, and you just can't. The right click functionality is completely disabled in 64-bit. Now, part of that, you know, could be down to Squad, part of it could be down to Unity, but a lot of the blame does seem to fall on Unity's 64-bit version being, well, just pretty crap. I mean, not many games actually use Unity 64-bit, because, well, it kind of sucks, which is kind of ridiculous considering Unity was, you know, first sort of developed in the era of multi-core computing and the, you know, already transitioned to 64-bit, and it just boggles the mind that neither of those are a thing, really, uh, at least not until the newest version of Unity. So, what am I going to do for a, a KSP series? Well, I really want to do a series, but I think I'm probably just going to lay off until point twenty-five and then see where everything's at, because point twenty-five is already in testing. It's early testing and they've increased the testing length, which is brilliant because point twenty-four was massively delayed because of that. But um, there will eventually be a point twenty-five, and it looks like it'll be sooner rather than later. So I think I'm going to wait until point twenty-five before starting a series. Uh, point twenty-five should hopefully introduce a few new things. It'll also uh, revamp a load of the space plane parts, which will be really nice. And maybe even introduce a few new contracts. Now, I'm incredibly disappointed by the fact that it won't introduce new biomes. It's something we've been waiting many, many versions for, and currently science on our planets is almost completely pointless. Um, you go there once and you never have to go to a planet again because of the way that science works. Now, we really like new biomes, and it's something that I've talked to other YouTubers about, and they've all agreed. Biomes really need to be done, and they wouldn't take long, but squads seem to consistently not do them, yet be aware that they need to be done. I, I don't understand. So, you know, at least there's a mod for that, so I can sort that my end. But until point twenty-five, and then the mods get, you know, sorted for that, I don't think I'm going to bother touching the series, because it's just too close to point twenty-five. and if I start a series now, I'd have to, you know, mod, set up all the mods, da 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 and then I'd get maybe, like, a couple of weeks of the series before I'd have to upgrade, which would make it kind of pointless. So, on that front, yeah, for a normal sort of career -y type Let's Play series, probably going to be waiting until point twenty-five, and then uh, going to go the whole hog get a load of mods, but I'm still going to have to be selective on mods because it still looks like it's going to be, you know, a 32-bit uh, install that'll be running off, which is really annoying. Um, I'd rather use the 64-bit, but it's still broken. Um, we'll see in point twenty-five. gets a minute. I doubt it because it's apparently a Unity bug rather than a problem with Squad. So when Unity fix their stuff, hopefully it'll get fixed, but we don't know when that'll be. And then that brings us on to World War K. Now, I did say as the stretch goal, well, it wasn't the stretch goal, it was the finishing getting to 21,000 or whatever it was dollars for Harv's um, charity water livestream that I would do an extra special one-off episode of World War K and that will be coming. A uh, part of it has been delayed by the stability of KSP and another part of it is now it's stable enough. I'm actually waiting on a mod. Um, well I'm waiting on a mod compatibility between two mods namely the new Bean Ainton parts which uh, are pretty nice. I will be covering them very soon or possibly already depending on which order these videos go out in. Um, and also BD Armory. Now, apparently the two are not compatible at the moment. I've talked to Bahamuta, who is a developer of BD Armory, just to ask him, and uh, he says he'll have a look into it. So hopefully those two should become compatible, and when they do, I'll uh, be able to get on that. Of course, I'll have to, you know, 
work on that series around all the normal series, so don't expect it to instantly come out as soon as they're compatible. But, you know, it'll be coming out, and I hope to, you know, be able to keep you all updated. Of course, if you really want all this details and stuff more up-to-date, then follow my Twitter, but I, I understand a lot of you don't really have Twitter, so... Something like where Kespi is on the channel, I think, deserves their own video. So I hope you found the video somewhat enlightening and, you know, helpful and answered some of your questions. And... If you like the video, I guess, you know, like it, I suppose. You know, that sort of thing. Anyway, stay shiny.